ain't nothing but a hound dog. Snoop around my door. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Snip around my door. Y'all know about Big Mama Thornton before Elvis came out with Hound Dog? And guess who used that? Who uses that little sound by? You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Ride, mm mm. Ride, mm mm. Oh, Doja Cat. Check out her new song. Ride, baby. Ride with me. Doja Cat, little, the biracial uh, pop singer. She uses uh, Big Mama Thornton's Hound Dog in her latest hit. So appreciate that, Doja Cat. But the rest of what you do, you can keep. I Man, it's related to your behavior. Trash. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is your man Rico the Opinionist. Just sharing an opinion you know, about what's, either what's going on with me or pop culture. And anything under the sun, pretty much, I am. I'm an opinionist. Probably need to register that title. But anyway, I am an opinionist. And so, I got a few minutes before my client arrives, right? So I just want to take just a few minutes to share these quick thoughts. Uh, before I, before I do that, I want y'all to know that I have a PDF short story that I wrote a few years ago. It's called The Greatest Pain Ever Felt. A conversation with absent biological father who never wanted to be found. It's only $10. Hit your boy up in the description box. It has the cash app, dollar sign Rico the Opinionist, as well as on his Facebook page. Should you decide to hit your boy up with that $10 on the face on the uh, Cash App, please send me an email address so I can email the PDF uh, attachment directly to you. Now, uh, so much is going on, but one thing that seemed to, seemed to have caught fire or gone viral is uh, uh, Deion Sanders' uh, comments about how he wants to choose his football players. He broke them down from the quarterback to the defensive end to the lineman. He says, uh, quarterback, you want them to be a leader. Prefer them to come from a two-parent household and have a GPA of 3.5. He said, he wants them to be leaders among men. Two-parent households. Then he said he wants his linebackers, the guys who do all the hidden. He wants them to be hungry. He wants them to be dogs. And notice that that kind of behavior comes from single mother-headed households. He wants those guys. And yeah, I think he wants those guys to have like a 3-3 three, three and above and all of that. And so... He said, yeah, because when a lot of these young men, when they're being raised with their single mothers, they, they're, literally, they're literally on a survival uh, schedule, uh, as opposed to children who are born with both parents who are being raised by mother and father. Uh, he says that uh, when a kid has been raised by a single mother household, and you know, especially when she's poor, she got a hustle on then he he's been told that he's the man of the house so he needs to get out there and hustle hard to help his mama pay her bills to help his mama raise his brothers and sisters and all that kind of mess so i'm trying to see um what's the problem because he told the truth we all grew up in the hood a lot of us grew up in the hood a lot of us grew up in the inner city a lot of us grew up with these single moms these children the sons out there risking their lives to help her lazy behind and so with that, with that whole experience comes a particular, comes a young man that's, that's built a little differently than uh, young men and women who are being raised by healthy mother and father in the same household. And he told the truth. And but due to the fact that um, so many women choose to be single mothers, they want to empower that foolishness so badly, they've taken that, taken that as an insult. And also automatically becomes a black single mother thing and he didn't mention a race he just said single motherhood so i just find it amazing that anything that's considered considered negative in the entire country we volunteer members of our community volunteer to say he talking about me and they talking about robberies like he, he talking about black men every <laughs> when statistics show that everybody robbed across racial lines and ethnicities but somehow we just gravitate towards whatever this negative. It's bad enough that stereotypes about the black community are there, but it doesn't help when we volunteer. But since so many people are upset because they're making the assumption, let me go back to another assumption. That uh, and it's, it's usually black chicks. Yeah, I said it because hell, we got to be honest. When Donald Trump said, "If I had a player who dared kneel, I would fire the son of a bitch." 
And the next morning, you had African-American women, black women across the country. He called black women bitches. He said, son of a bitch. And when you go back and roll back the tape, during the whole kneeling thing, it was black dudes, white dudes, biracial guys. Other people were kneeling in the beginning, too. So it means their mama was white. So, But I hear no white woman nowhere come up and say, he's talking about us. He, he calls us, called us bitches. Why, why do African-American women try to jump out in front of everything to get any kind of attention? It's not always about you, even though you want to make it about you. And by any means necessary, appears. So Deion Sanders, he spoke about a reality of a behavior, of an experience when raised by single mothers. A lot of these young black men, they really survived their childhoods because most, most kids... More than most kids who are born to single women live in impoverished or poor or dangerous uh, <laughs> areas of town. And so don't, don't try to act like the guy wasn't talking about what we know and we see every day. And then they're going to say, well, he was on that white format saying that. Well, hell, uh, we go, we're talking about, hey, don't air our dirty laundry out in front of white folks. But you're on world star hip hop. Your sons and daughters are rappers. They talk about their WAP. And they talk about showing guns. Y'all don't think white folks watch those videos of World Star? You think we don't only want to watch it? Everybody watches World Star. Everybody watches these WAP videos and, and City Girl, all the rap videos and, and all this kind of stuff. Everybody watches this. So how did it become like some dirty little secret out in public? Come on, people. So, yeah, some of us know there are a lot of us who are still upset because of this transition from Jackson State to Colorado to PW, uh, the, the white university from the HBCU. It is what it is. Let's move on. Let's make sure we support the coaches there now. And let's make sure we up our support for HBCU sports. How about that? Because Dion is, Dion is done Dion. He's going to continue to do Dion. And we need to stop celebrating single motherhood that is the worst trick that's ever been played on any group but it seems like it hurts i was the worst because the average african-american teenage girl and african-american woman seems to think that's a good choice to make on purpose we're not talking about the women who were married and they got divorced well then they're not really single mothers then they're, they're, they're involved in a co-parenting situation and they got some alimony and child support you know through the legal thing uh, we're not talking about a woman who was married and her husband passed away. We're talking about Mike C. What's up? We're talking about chicks in high school who get knocked down under the bleachers at the basketball game. Or she get knocked down in the backseat of a car in the parking lot during the football game. Or she get knocked down at the prom. Or she meet him at the club and, and let him hit raw. She just met him at the bar. No choosing to be single mothers. That's the stuff we're talking about. It's not healthy for our, for our kids. Not healthy at all. And yet teenage black girls and grown black women, are, shoo, they choose to put their children in harm's way. Because their lack of uh, sexual discipline. Their lack of wanting to take birth control. 25 forms. But so, when you know you're making these piss poor choices, instead of trying to clean up the, the personal choice, because damn the mistake. Well, you know, people make mistakes, but you got three baby dads and four kids, sweetheart. What you talking about? That's not a damn mistake. You're doing it on purpose. And whatever the economic incentives are, do it the state or federal, all of that. Hey, cut it out. So here we have this large number. Even as we speak, some little black girl is volunteering to bring a child here without a father. And please don't ask me about the men. What about the men? What about the men? He can't get no punani without your permission. How come y'all don't understand that? And then, you remember my body, my choice? You decide to have the kids. So let's cut it out. Stop celebrating single motherhood. Due to the fact that this government has been so empowered to think it's all right to do that. You know, it's not going to stop. That's why you have a lot of guys that say, save yourself, black men, or MGTOW men going their own way. You have passport bros or black men traveling so you can find some people that's got some good sense. 
and get away from these folks who volunteer to live a life of hell and who volunteer to put their children in harm's way. But now, 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 I'll say this. Guys, if you really care about children, stop impregnating people, bro. A woman you're not married to. So ladies, y'all, y'all satisfied? Teach your teenage sons that they have more to live, more more to life than slanging their dingalings. Teach your son that. Tell him, I mean, really, really tell him the truth. If you don't want to be paying bills at 14, it's called child support, and getting harassed at 17 by the baby mama and her mama and their auntie. Well, you need to take care of your child. Don't have unprotected sex with these chicks, especially if you live in the ghetto. They don't have nothing else to do but to get pregnant because the government pays them to breed for the state, which leads to the prisoner pipeline situation. Did I go too far? Did I take it too deep? See, why they're okay with these black girls having these babies living in the ghetto because they're breeding prisoners, they're breeding customers for the prison system. They know damn well when they had them babies, when they allowed them to have those babies or encouraged them to have those babies in these ghettos, they give them what's called free women's clinic so they can have more bastard babies. All they're doing is breeding children for the prison system. And that's why I talk about or talk against single motherhood. There's nothing cool about it. There's nothing worth a pat on the back about it. There's nothing appropriate about it. If you care about children, young ladies, you'd want to make sure that your child is protected all the way around. And again, how we got all these people that believe in Jesus Christ, they believe in what, whatever, believe in God, but don't keep not one damn commandment, especially when it comes to you no, know, so how you how you supposed to bring children here? Hold on a second. You know the devil's always busy, and so you know, let me come back this way because it gets loud back that way. So how come they don't seem to uh, believe in God in, in, in that regard? Anything that, that, that sounds like it's going to block a sin, they erase what God is saying. It's, it's the most amazing thing. But inside, if it's something where it allows them to judge other people, well, you know, uh, you shouldn't do that because it ain't right. But why are you having kids out of wedlock? That's not right. And then you have people like Deion Sanders in the world saying something about it. All of a sudden, they're acting like they're all that. They think they're better than people. And we need to cut it out, black community. We really need to cut it out because what you're doing is raising a lot of kids <sighs> hurt with no identity. And then a lot of you have the nerve to lie about who the daddy is because you didn't have, the, you didn't have sex with the man or, or allow the man who should be getting you pregnant get you pregnant you get pregnant by the penis that made you scream oh lord my god jesus see that that kind of penis never stays around to support <laughs> anyway i went too far again that's that's not that's usually not the penis it's just like when guys impregnate strippers when they impregnate tramps and and and, and thoughts and chicks that love rap music you are setting your kid up for failure so but anyway it's your man rico the opinionist look shout out to dion i hear what you said brother let these other folks hate on it but we'll talk again in the future y'all be cool it's your man rico uh yeah don't forget to give my pdf my little short story y'all be cool peace